What's going on everybody? It's Jet Central coming back with a recap between the New York Jets at the Miami Dolphins. And the Dolphins uh, were victorious. They won by three points, uh, courtesy of Cody Parkey, basically knocking through the game winner with like I think 30 seconds left to uh, win the game. Um, you know, these are the games right here uh, that people will point to that want Todd Bowles fired. The people out there that want a whole new coaching staff, these are the games that make their cases. Up by 14 points at the start of the fourth quarter, and we cannot close the game. It's a joke. <sighs> Unbelievable. Up by 14 points. In a oh, my God. We're up by two touchdowns here. It's not like 10, or it's not like 7, or 3. We're up by 14. That's a nice, comfortable lead. And uh, we blew it. We, we blew the game. Uh, the Dolphins roar back. The Jets take their foot off the pedal, like always. Dolphins roar back. Credit to them. Score 17 unanswered points. <coughs> and uh, it, it's just, I can't wrap my head around it. I just can't understand this, this thing with the Jets where, you know, I almost prefer the Jets to be losing all game by three points because I know we're not going to like take our foot off the aggressor. I mean, we have to keep the pedal to the metal through four quarters. It's a four quarter game. It's not, we don't, we don't stop the game at halftime. We don't stop the game after three quarters. The game ends when the clock hit zero. Well, I don't know what it is, what it is with this Jets team where I, it, it, it's like a pass. Like, okay, we're up by, you know, more than one possession. Game's over. We did our job. Now let's just hand the ball off every single time and just play like we don't know what's going on. And everybody, you, you ever been in like a grocery store or like a mall or like a Black Friday shopping? And everything's so chaotic, you know, everybody's running around like trying to look for deals and everybody's checking out. You got people running to the bathroom, you got people finding, you know, where their friends, where their family, you got all the workers running around, you know, it's like chaotic, it's a chaotic mess. That's how I feel what the Jets sideline is or what's going on in the headsets. <clears throat> Nobody knows what's going on, even though if you just take a step back, examine the situation and just take a deep breath real quick and say, hey, look, we're up by 14 points. With one quarter left, let's pl let's do what we let's let's continue what has worked. Let's keep the foot on the gas pedal, and let's win this game. Let's leave Miami with a divisional win, making us potentially tie for first place. But once we get this big lead, the same thing happens. We saw it last week with the Patriots. <clears throat> and granted, the Patriots are a much better team than the, than the excuse me than the Dolphins. They're a much better coach team than the Dolphins. And we jump we the, in the Patriot game, we were up fourteen to zero in the first half. So take it as you take it how you want it. But at the end of the, at the end of the day, we still blew that blew a uh, two uh, two possession two score lead against the Patriots. This game has no excuse whatsoever. I mean, yes, we have to credit the Dolphins. They made some plays. They, When their numbers were called, they made plays. Whether it was Landry, <coughs> I mean, Jay Cutler went down, Matt Moore stepped in, and I thought did a decent job of managing the game. Uh, I thought I thought the Miami Dolphins wide receivers stepped up down the stretch. Um, but I, I think, you know, I think the, the New York Jets did not help their case whatsoever in the fourth quarter. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. It really is. I can, I, I'm just, it, it just upsets me, you know. It's like, what more do you need to do? What I don't understand how much more clearer the message can be after after witnessing last week's game against the Patriots, where we come out, we just stick them right in the mouth, you know, just pop them. New England was not expecting that, us to jump out to a 14-0 lead against them, but as soon as we as we you know we start getting comfortable, New England roars back, win the game. You'd figure that would be the the uh, the the main or the X factor or the main point. What's going on in all the players and all the coaches' uh, heads? You know, throughout this week of practice, finish, close, finish the game strong. Let's not switch up what we're doing. Let's not just okay. You know, we have 12 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Let's just hand the ball off every play to hopefully waste time and get out of escape with a win. You know, I don't buy that. I don't agree with that whatsoever. And it just really. The, like I was saying in the beginning, man, these are the games where Todd Bowles, um, the the people that want Todd Bowles and Co. gone, these are the games that just back them up because they're they're gonna sit here and say, look, two back-to-back -back games, one in our house against the Patriots, 
<coughs> we have a 14-0 lead blown by the Jets. You know, I mean, obviously we had the referees in that game, and everyone knows that whole situation. I'm not going to dive into that because I don't even want to think about that. But the Jets played a huge part in that, you know, us losing. Why? Because we just totally switch up what we're doing, and it's not like halftime adjustments where we're trying to see what – you know, uh, what are the Dolphins showing us? What, Where are their weak spots? You know, what have they kind of done through the first two quarters? What can we do to kind of combat that? No, that's that's halftime adjustments. That's a separate thing. What I'm kind of talking about is, uh, you know, totally having this game plan, it working. Then once it does work <coughs> and we're up by a little bit, us just saying, okay, we did our job. We did our part. We're cool. Let's hand the ball off. We won the game. And that's what frustrates Jets fans. And, um, you know, these are the games. Because, I mean, yes, you can point to the roster and say, look, there's not that much talent. Look, Josh McCown is the quarterback. He's not a franchise guy. You know, look, we have a whole bunch of 20, you know, players under 24, 25 starting on defense, <coughs> you know, in favor of Todd Bowles. But, look, at the, at the end of the day, Todd Bowles is critics. The people that want him gone, the people that want, you know, all, all these uh, hot – sexy ho uh, coach candidates, you know, like Harbaugh and David Shaw and all these guys. These are the games that they will point to and say, look, we were up by two scores in a division rivalry game. These are games that we have to pull through on and we don't, we just choke them away. We just give it to them. Because I believe that the Jets are talented enough to win these games. I thought we could have beat New England last week. I thought we could have won today's game. God, and today's game is just, I mean, last week, I mean, the, the refs had a lot to do with it, but this game, I feel like the, I mean, the Jets had what, over 10 or 10 or 11 penalties for over 100 yards. <clears throat> I mean, some of them were ticky-tack, but we have to be better coached. We have to be better coached. Um, so, you know, two back-to-back -back divisional losses where in both games, <clears throat> excuse me, I am still a little bit sick. Feeling, feeling a little bit under the weather. But in both games, we had two two-score leads. Uh, and it, it just makes you scratch your head as a Jet fan and, and say, what, what's happening here? And the thing that's crazy about it is that me, you, Jets Nation, football fans across whatever, across the world, all know the problem. It's not finishing games because I know we don't. We have a depleted roster. I know we don't have the answer at quarterback right now, but we're, we're hanging in there. We're fighting. We're giving a ton of effort. Well, some players are. Most players are. Um, we're hanging in there, and we can make plays. We... we we're, you know, we're up by two scores. Like, getting up by two scores is not like a fluke or like some like, oh, uh, Hail Mary trickery or like, a, you know, th these like random magical plays. We're, we're coming out with a good game plan and really just, I think, catching teams off guard and really just punching them in the mouth right up front. But I just feel like once we kind of stick them, <coughs> we just go in defense mode and basically say, hey, look, you know, we, uh, we did that. Now we just have to run it. You know, it's like... I, I just, I, it just blows my mind because like I was just saying, everybody knows that this is the problem, yet we can't fix it. And you'd feel, I mean, am I, am I crazy to think that the Jets, uh, you know, were, were practicing closing games this week? I mean, that's basically the reason why we lost to New England, that and the referees. And we go out and we, we, we hit Miami right in the mouth, like I just said. <clears throat> awesome game plan going in. Nice balance between run and pass. Kept the Dolphins off balance. And uh, bl blew the game. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. It is what it is. Dolphins, I tip my hat to uh, to you guys because, you know, when when the, when players' numbers were called, they did make plays. Uh, Matt Moore, Ajayi, Landry, these guys. Uh, so, you know, there's not really much more to be said uh, than that, you know, the Jets uh, blew a 14, 14 uh, point lead in the fourth quarter. So, 17 unanswered points by the Dolphins. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's like, oh my God. I guess on the next week, I mean, we have the Atlanta Falcons, but, you know, the this game, I get it under, you know, losing to New England. Like, I totally get that. Like, they're expected to win. They're they're expected to blow us out. Whatever. But this game, we had it won. We I feel like we did enough to win this game, and we just had to keep doing what we did. 
but we stopped and we just went away from it and we gave it back to the dolphins and they capitalized they basically realized <coughs> you know same thing the same thing same exact thing that the patriots did hey look you know what it, the jets are totally changing up what they're doing where you know they're just stop they're not taking any shots they don't want to do any risky plays they're just going to check it down run the ball hopefully just like try to squeak out a victory squeak out of the away stadium with a w as opposed to just coming you know going into the game or going i, I should say into the fourth quarter and saying we're up 14-0. We want to beat you down by 28. We want to win by 28, not 14. Or play at least like the uh, the game's tied. Like, <coughs> unbelievable. So, Jets lose. Lose by three points in a heartbreaking fashion to the Miami Dolphins. Um, I thought the Dolphins uh, bounced back and they, they battled through some adversity. And I hate giving the credit to the Dolphins, but they deserve it. So, it is what it is. Anyway, Jets lose by three. Let me go down in the comment section. Uh, you know, wh what are you guys' thoughts on this game? And, um, you know, how Atlanta's looking, how the rest of the season's looking. Because right now, you know, blowing two games that I feel like we could have won. And, and like I said before, you know, the Patriot game, I understand. You know, I understand. It's not the end of the world that we lost to New England because of the, you know, it, just the, how it played out. The refs, it was like a weird, <coughs> sketchy, you know, sneaky thing with the referees, whatever. And we challenged them. We fought tooth and nail when they were supposed to kill us. But this game right here, it's just unbelievable. So, anyway, uh, Dolphins win by three. Let me know down in the comment section. And uh, go Jets.